Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Same Sphere Gaming. My name's Jordan. And my name's Matt. Welcome back to Laundry Simulator. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, Arcade Paradise. Um, Which is also a kind of Laundry Simulator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit. But I have heard that that changes. Because you start playing arcade games and turn this into an arcade. Yeah, do you, like, eventually start replacing the laundry machines with I more arcade so. cabinets or something? Yeah, I think so. Oops, that was not a good... Totally tubular. <laughs> totally tubular. Um, there is kind of a storyline, and I think different things happen, and... Yeah, we'll see. I don't know much about it, but there is like a story and you can expand and start changing stuff out. So Here's your favorite part. Ah! <laughs> see how the toilet's doing. The toilet is clean. Nice. I like how also there's just like single socks laying around <laughs> just oops a lot of which seem to look pretty similar though <laughs> yeah we're not gonna match it up just throw that away uh okay i don't see any more trash another piece of gum there we go that was perfect Oh, another piece of trash. Bag's not full, though. It looks pretty full. Yeah. If we can find one more, that would be perfect. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Gotta get the S rank on the trash throw. Oh, I don't know if that's us. Yeah! <laughs> right. Totally tubular. Alright, not enough time to play an arcade game, so we'll just wait it out. You know, the one time, or the couple times I did use the laundromat, I definitely didn't sit around doing nothing. <laughs> But, I don't know, that's just me. I guess you could be worried your clothes are going to get stolen, but who would do that? There we go. I, I mean, I didn't just wait around, but I typically was there... I mean, okay, I was there the first time because I wasn't sure how long stuff was going to take, and I forget yeah. what I to occupy the time one of the one of the times I was there I just like picked up a Bible that happened to be on like a stand and nice read something from that yeah that that, that makes sense the other time if there was another time I probably just like did some stuff on my phone yeah that makes sense there might have been actually one time I did, but what is that? Cactus. <coughs> this is like a special encounter? I don't know. No moves. Oh. Okay. Does that happen on your matching game sometimes? Uh, sometimes. Not much, but sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's really not a lot of time. By the way, that matching game that I play is pretty much the only one that works like 90% properly on my Xbox at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can't seem to do is like the, the in-game chat. Because it relies mm -hmm. on the Xbox chat, which is dependent on the 
system itself, which doesn't really seem to want to work very well. Yeah, I don't know if we... Did we mention that your Xbox is on the fritz? I don't know if we did. By the time this comes out, that probably won't be the case anymore. Yeah. But as of recording, yeah, my Xbox One, it just... Oof. Oof, indeed. It's not able to play anything. Like, some games I've been able to play just not really save much progress. Uh, maybe a couple of games I've been able to play just shy of fully. Okay. Uh, and then there are some games that just don't seem to want to work. This is not working for me. I just, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Like, I wonder what happened because I have not seen any problems like the one you're having. It's weird. So I'm actually, I just looked at the score. I'm not getting a, oh, okay. Sometimes when I swap, I don't actually get a score. Yummo meter. Oh, that's what I'm trying to fill up. Okay. I was like, I don't know what the, how exactly to win those games. There's a yummo meter. Also, when I went to a laundromat, I definitely operated the machines myself. Yes, me too. I mean, there was the option of having someone do it for me. Oh, really? I don't but I that would have cost extra, so I was like, eh, no thanks. I don't think the one I went to, they even offered that. Okay, um, I think we have enough money to buy the next machine if I deposit this. Let me see. Where's the sweet spot? There we go. <clears throat> you and your inaccurate safe opening. <laughs> yes. All right, let's take a look here. Stack overflow. There we go. Hold up. Stack overflow is uh, a thing that actually exists, not as yes. an arcade cabinet to my <laughs> knowledge, but as a website. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, oh, there's some trash. Yeah, it's like uh, how to learn coding and stuff. But it's also a... It's actually a coding reference. Um, because if you have a stack overflow, it can cause a program crash or other problems. Yeah. Most of the time, modern coding languages don't let you do that, but back in the old days, it was a big problem. Oh my gosh. Get away from me, pink cop car. Here's a question. Can you use the boost while you're the tank? No, you can't. Okay. That would be helpful. Whoop. Maybe a little too helpful. Yeah. In Pac-Man, like, some of the cop cars were, or I mean, wow, some of the ghosts <laughs> were smarter than other ones, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, or is that a myth? I think it's just that they had different patterns. Okay. Like, I don't know for sure, but I think, like, one of them would usually tend towards a certain corner of the map. Or a certain side of it, maybe. Uh, one of them was specifically designed to ch chase down Pac-Man. I see. <clears throat> okay. Um, so it was kind of a mix of things like that. Oh, wait. It said goal completed. I wonder if I can, like, escape the level or something. Oh! 
Uh. Run. Oh man, the wash. All right, dang it. I'm still not fully understanding that game. Because in Pac-Man you have to get all the pellets, but don't know if that's true. Yeah. For that one. <laughs> the elevator music <laughs> just adds to the annoyance. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give this another try. Whoops. Oh, okay. Oh, so I want to collect gold to get the upgrades. Okay. So it's kind of like a roguelike. In a certain way. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get that. Like, unless you can jump and... <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what saves, like, because you're not resetting every time you, like, exit out. I thought they just reset every time, but you actually do save progress. There's a bunch of gold over there. No! <laughs> I want the gold. It's like, let me over there. <laughs> you can't right. jump, can you? No. Okay, you can climb a little bit. But, okay, how am I going to get that? There we go. There we go. Yes. Getting the hang of it. I don't know if this is how Dig Dug was. Yeah, not no! quite. Well, that's better than I did before. All right, I'm going straight down. <laughs> Don't see any gold. There's some. Uh. I also think, as a general rule, you might want to try to avoid the. Uh... Yeah, the, the things that look more like stone. Yeah. At least it seemed to me like doing stuff with those drains your oxygen quicker. Yeah. Okay. Don't know if I can make it over to that oxygen, but I really need it. Oh, they all exploded each other. That's nice. Oh my gosh. Made it really far. You're past 100 meters. Woo. I assume that's supposed to be meters. Oh, man. Can I get one more gold? No. All right. Let's go take care of the laundry. <laughs> it's almost quitting time. Well, if you want, we can jump into a passage of the day. Yeah. Just be finishing up. I was, right when you said it's almost quitting time, I was like, does that mean it's almost Bible time? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay. Uh, so today's passage is from Colossians chapter 1. And I will be reading verses 21 through 23. I don't know if this one requires much context. I think it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Okay. So, here we go. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you, uh, yeah, to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation if you continue in your faith established and firm and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel 
this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. So that's the end of that. Okay. A couple of really long, awkwardly uh, <laughs> phrased sentences in there. Yeah. But... It's... So there are other passages that talk about, you know, believers previously being one way, but now they're different because of Jesus. Yeah. Um, but I, th this particular time, I just took extra note of the caveat here that it's like, you're, you know, holy in his sight, free from accusation, if you continue in your faith. <laughs> Hmm. So it like in that way it sounds a little bit like some of the Old Testament prophecies that were <clears throat> it that were like, okay, if you do this good stuff, then good things will happen. But if you do what's bad, bad stuff happens. Now yeah. I'm not saying necessarily that it's really legalistic like that. Yeah. But I, I think it's still like it, if there's a general desire to, you know, trust God, follow Jesus like you should be doing. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you just drift away from that entirely, then are you really still without blame? Yeah. <clears throat> and it was always interesting to me, like, how, like you said, they kind of believed that you do good things, good things will happen. You do bad things, <clears throat> bad things will happen. And so, like, people who were diseased and, you know, born with deformities or, you know, you name it, if you were in a bad situation... It was assumed you or your family, somebody had done something bad to cause that, kind of. Um, yeah, and this isn't really quite the same thing that I would say. Yeah. Uh, I mean, part of verse 23 is like, and if you do not move from the hope held out in the gospel that's when you know you'll continue to be presented as holy without blemish free from accusation um, and I think just generally there's an idea in that of like it's gonna be harder for people to find fault with you it's like the natural bad consequences of doing bad things will not follow you around because you're doing good things instead of bad. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's... That is more of a Christian philosophy that your bad actions will naturally cause bad things to happen. Kind of. It was... There was a time I worked residence life at a boarding school, and yeah, there were outlined, like, consequences, punishments, whatever you want to call them, if students did certain things. Yeah. Uh, but not every single possible thing, it was like, all right, here's a assigned punishment for them. So yeah. th there were a lot of situations where one of the favorite phrases of the residence life staff was natural consequences. Yeah. Cause it was like, okay, look, I, you didn't do your homework. Your natural consequences, you get a bad grade. I don't need <laughs> to punish you any further for that. Yeah. I see. Dang. 
I don't think I'm gonna get a good grade on this laundry. It was finishing right as like the chat messages with my dad were mm -hmm. there and I couldn't exit out. Blah blah blah. Right, the consequences of my actions. <laughs> <laughs> So basically I said, hey dad, the arcade machines um, actually can be financially viable. And dad's like, I'm not even going to look at your charts. I don't believe you or something like that. <clears throat> hey, Weasel Face, did you pitch your idea to dad? It was a straight no. He didn't even read it. Just shot it down. So prove him wrong. Ha! I would love that. Unfortunately, he's keeping tabs and I'm fresh out of space. I can't move any of the... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I can't move any of the cabinets into the main laundry. He'd know. Sorry about that. <laughs> about that. I've got the inside track on the city's planning commission. I could get a discount on contractors and permits. You could knock down the wall to the storage closet. Dad would have to sign off development, of course, but he doesn't have to know what it's for. Seriously? Leslie, you're a genius. No, you're the genius, so make it work. Prove to him there's more to this life than misery, <laughs> grind, and money. Prove you can be successful doing something you love. Okay, let's rock. What do I need? Here's the info. When you're ready to pull the trigger, send the cash. I'll sort the rest. A thousand dollars? Dang, that looks pretty cool, though, actually. <laughs> gotta save up for it, cool. though. Yeah, gotta save up. All right, what is going on here? About one minute left on those. Okay. Let's see here. Our up. protagonist her sounds a lot like Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a great... <laughs> protagonist voice <laughs> especially for like a teenager who's playing arcade machines <laughs> or some other just <laughs> more casual personality I guess <laughs> that person just disappeared it's the, exactly the voice you need for a dad let me do my own thing <laughs> Toilet's still good. That's good news. I feel like clean might not be the most accurate <laughs> word there. Okay, that's true. It is not saying clogged. it's not clogged. But I mean the game itself says clean, so I'm not like <laughs> saying you're wrong for wording it that way. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Oh man. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Didn't get fully S rank. Let's see what time is it. It is 11. Oh, wow. Started three baskets early. Okay, let's try out the new game. Stack overflow. Okay. So what do you do? I guess you're supposed to match. I'm trying to like sort out oh, the gosh. colors. All right, I can do that. Can get everything of a certain color on the same palette. Well, that's what I'm gonna try, and hopefully that is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> well, I got yep. you plus 12 seconds for each of those. Great work today, kid. The next day. <laughs> um. Yeah, you only have two pallets to place things right now. This will work. Is this a classic game? I'm not familiar with this one. I uh, I don't know. There might be. There's not a classic game that immediately comes to mind, but I've seen some games like this before. I guess. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's I've seen like phone game advertisements that are kind of similar. Yeah, like where you fill up the vials or whatever. Never played it though. 
Yeah, like fill up vials with water, yeah. different colors, or like. Oh wait, uh, what am I doing? Oh no, no, put it back there. Oh man, lame, totally lame, man. <laughs> Is there a surfer simulator game? I don't think I've ever seen one. <laughs> that would be a good voice for that, too. Yeah. Maybe on VR there's one. I think this game has a VR version. Which would be I weird. can see that. Very first-person perspective. <laughs> Full immersion. All right, let's see what saves progress on here. Is there anything? Yeah, I don't know how you would save progress on this game. Whoops. Clocking off time. Yeah, I think I don't think this will be one of my favorites. <laughs> this must have been a fun game to develop, though, because you just get to make all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of games that seem to usually kind of start off with multiple seemingly unrelated ideas. Yeah. But, like, bringing them together is usually one of the hardest parts of it all. Yeah, that's true. But when you got something like this, it's a pretty easy excuse to just bring, those, like, bring some of those ideas together even if they seem completely unrelated, because it's just like, oh yeah, this could be one arcade game, and that could be another. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, let's uh, have this, you know, laundromat simulator be just the overall situation for the <laughs> whole thing. Oh, I thought we'd have another. Got to get stuff out of the dryer, maybe? There we go. I think we have time for one more load, three load thing. One more round. Yeah. And these should be almost done, yep. And then we should be able to expand soon yeah i don't know if i mean yeah i don't know if i'm gonna play the game all the way through we'll see but i don't think it's that long of a game so yeah i don't know it'll be more fun when we don't have to do the laundry anymore <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to uh, this one because I like being able to continually progress. Is there a way to check how many stars I have? I have one orange star thing. There and you we go. need like five, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, and tell me if you see any decent moves. But, uh, hate when that happens. It seems like you can replay the same uh, dude here and um, 
still get the orange star, so... That's useful, because some of them are more annoying than others. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it's coming together. <clears throat> Amazing. There we go. Another orange star. Come back here. So is it... I guess the idea is that you're, like, feeding them? <laughs> I guess so. The food yeah. that you're matching? <laughs> It all goes into the yummo meter, so I guess so. Whoops, that wasn't even a move. Oh man. Fine, I got one star. Thank you, watch. I realize <laughs> it is time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure back oh. then we did not have watches that could do that much. <laughs> Tell you when there's a chance. Uh, I mean, you could maybe have some with like a timer. Yeah, but this tells you when the toilet's clogged and when you have a chat message. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Well, let's just make sure it did save that star. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. I don't know what these things are. Can you guys move, please? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Back to business. Oh man, this is gonna be an easy one. I'm like, what's with the donut? <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. It's a bomb. Okay. There we go. Easy. Ah, WC means uh, toilet. I don't know why. It's WC. Uh, it makes me wonder if this game is British. What's what is WC? Water closet. Oh, okay. Okay, that so, makes sense. I think that's a little more of a British thing than a US thing, yes. calling it that. But... Yeah. <laughs> I... <sighs> we got $10 from doing that, and I don't even want to know <laughs> how we got $10 from that. Yeah. That really doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, I'll just collect some quick gold and then we'll call it a day. So, hey, thanks everybody. Hope you're enjoying the series. It's um, an interesting game. It is currently on Xbox Game Pass, if you're interested. Um, I'm playing it on PC, but uh, oh, I think I would break it. Because a lot of Games Pass games you can play on both Xbox and Game Pass. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much you it. Mean it was also. And PC? <laughs> What's that? He, he, you mean to say on Xbox and PC? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, it was also free on, like, Epic Games Launcher for a while, but. Check it out if you're interested. Just play arcade games and take care of a. Laundromat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for today. So don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let us know if there's a game you want us to play. Or, you know, we've never said this before, but... <clears throat> you got to set the basket down first. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> If there is a Bible verse you would like us to discuss, or a Bible passage, or a Bible story, you can let us know in the comments as well. We, we haven't really said that before, but 
We could get people's, uh, you know, if they want us to discuss something, let us know. Yeah. But, uh, with all that, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.